powder the upper lids next. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Natalie. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I took a little bit of a break because I was focusing more on TikTok, but honestly, it's getting a little boring over there. So I wanna move back to YouTube and start making more videos. You've probably seen on TikTok that all of the vintage makeup hacks and tricks have been going completely viral. And I've done a few videos of individual hacks like blush or eyeliner. And I feel like I should just sit down and do the full on makeup tutorial. Makeup history is so interesting because all the makeup tips that we use today have been around for forever. So we're gonna be taking it back to the 1950s today. The video that I'm going to be using and following today is from the YouTube account Glamour Days. They have a ton of vintage makeup tutorials and this is the channel that most of those videos that you've seen on TikTok or YouTube are from. So if you like watching vintage makeup tutorials, definitely go check them out. I made myself another cup of coffee so this is either gonna be a great video or you'll witness a panic attack on camera. All right, let's begin. I know that all of you are here to see if I can prove what I have always contended, that there is no woman in the world who can't be made to look more beautiful. To understand the secrets of beauty, glamour, and personality... This is literally like a full-on seminar. Probably one of the first master classes on record. <laughs> I also love watching these vintage makeup tutorials because they are literally so savage towards the women in the audiences. Like if they see an example of what not to do in the audience, like say your brows are all fucked up, then they will show you in the video. They're so mean. <laughs> so she destroys self-consciousness. And in the destruction of self-consciousness, she develops an entirely new personality. First and most essential, I mean, he's not wrong. honest with herself. <laughs> she must know her face shape before she can create the illusion of proper proportion. We selected five women from a group provided by your committee. They represent the five basic types of faces, namely the oval, the round, square, the oblong, and the triangle. With the oval face, for the most pleasing and attractive appearance, a woman must retain the oval shape. With all other types. Okay, why is the editing so good? I feel like this is such advanced editing for the time. I'm surprised. Brow is arched high. The rouge has been applied in a circle. And the lip has been made up high. This, in contrast. You know what's funny is the wrong side that he has here is kind of what's in now. Like, what's in now is a thinner eyebrow, a little bit of an over accentuated, like, lip lining situation and lots of blush. All right, so now we're getting into the actual makeup tutorial. I'm so excited. And what I see in all these makeup tutorials is they have that like little headband thing. It looks like he has just like a basic sponge. You know, I actually have one that looks just like that. I have this product from Mally Beauty and they came out with new packaging, which basically has the same thing that he's using. He looks like he's holding it at a little bit, kind of like a taco. I feel like the makeup at the time, very natural nothing crazy this foundation is actually very good it is a very dewy formula so if you have oily skin you might not like it so much um, i have combo skin and i think it's great he wouldn't like bob ross when he's doing his painting tutorials it goes so quickly he's literally he, looks, he really looks like he knows what he's doing honestly though because of how quickly he's going but we could be wrong i think i might need more this like sucked in all of the foundation Here's a question from the Nancy Lee Beauty Shop in Seattle. It doesn't look like she's well, I guess it is in black and white. But I was like, it doesn't look like she has anything on, but she is not in color, so I can't see. There is liquid makeup. Okay, tell me that doesn't look like a little Revlon bottle. And there is cream base. Okay, so I finished the foundation. It looks I look white. I don't think that the coverage was like super, super crazy with that sort of application because you're swiping it so you could still see like blemishes and stuff. The girl that he's working on probably doesn't have any acne um, because he got done with that super freaking quick. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little more to those areas. You must always use cream rouge. 
So for the rouge application, I'm gonna use this product from Rare Beauty. This is actually so similar to a lot of the makeup products at the time, and this product from Rare Beauty is so underrated. It's their melting blush in the shade Nearly Rose, and this stuff literally melts into the skin like butter. Hi. Just with his fingers, face, it. it must be placed in the center of the cheek. Blend it up over the cheekbone toward the... Okay, he said the center of the cheek blended up over the cheekbone. And he's actually like patting and wiping, like how he did with the, um, like how he did when he was blending in the foundation. And carried lightly up under the eye. And then he put it lightly under the eyes. See, that's another thing that is trending right now, which is so interesting. I know you guys have heard that Makeup by Spencer audio that's like, if you're not blending your blush up to your under eye area, you're missing out. Would like to know what the basic colors in eyeshadow should be. That's a good question. First of all, there should be that's no That's a good question. There are hard, fast rules, which must okay, be- Okay, that brush for the eyeshadow is so big. Oh my god. What the hell? That looks like a paintbrush. That literally looks like a paintbrush. <laughs> I think that I found a brush that is similar to the one that he uses. Um, it has a little concealer on it, but we're just gonna work with it. I feel like it actually does look kind of similar to the one that he's using. It's definitely as big. We need only two shades of eyeshadow. Brown and blue gray. I think this palette from Morphe would actually work because it does have sort of grayish tones. Um, I think I'll go in with either this one or this one and then a blue gray, which I think would be this one. But he doesn't mention what he's using in the video. They don't, like, what is the point of recording this? Like, it's in black and white. Like, I can't see what you're doing, dude. <laughs> and above everything else, it must be remembered that eyeshadow at all times is to be applied sparingly. I love how he's like, this should be applied sparingly, but my guy, why are you pulling out a brush like this then? I don't know how to sparingly apply it like this. Very pretty shade though, I will say. But it's just a little difficult to blend in. At first when I was applying this, I was like, oh, just brown eyeshadow, that's so boring. But now that I think about it, latte makeup? Are they on trend right now? I am, well. There were many questions sent in regarding the use of a pencil in outlining the eye. Quote, is it necessary to outline the eye for good makeup? It is just as important to outline Is that a number two pencil? It it's funny because the other day I did a video of um, an eyeliner hack that my mom really likes. And she was like, you have, to, you have to get this specific Maybelline pencil, which also looks like a number two pencil. It's interesting because he pulls up the lid, which I guess people still do, but um, he goes in both ways. He is like so rough on her skin also. Like he's just going in in every which direction. So he's going in now and making sure that everything is blended. He's going over the blush one more time and then also the eyeshadow for like the fifth time with his fingers. I don't think that they use bronzer at all in this video. Oh my god, that's like full- that is like full on baking. Okay, wait, hold on. That is actually kind of a lot. Damn, he used a lot. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in. It looks like he curved it a little bit and then went in under with like a lot. Oh my god, that is a lot. <gasps> I got it in my eyelashes. Oh no. That is some OG bacon right there. Oh my god, this is like so much powder. Carefully blend your eyeshadow. Wait, okay, so now he's saying to go in again and blend your eyeshadow. I feel like he probably has powder on his hands though. I don't want to like mess it up. I feel like the eyeshadow is blended. It's blended. We're fine. And powder the upper lid next. A thorough powdering unit will result in a long life. This feels unnatural. <laughs> um, so he goes over the eyes. And he goes over the eyelids. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that is like, she is white. I mean, she was white before, but she's like white, white, so he must be using so much powder. If you had dry skin back in the day, this was not, this was probably not the decade for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Reminds me so much, I don't know if you guys have seen the video of um, Jinx Monsoon, 
um, when she's doing Trixie Mattel's makeup and she just goes in and powders the shit out of her face. Just really getting in there. Okay, this is what's really interesting too, is there are so many different types. I look insane right now. There are so many different types of like makeup tools and stuff that were around. Makeup brushes and everything has evolved so much. Um, I actually have a replica of what a makeup brush would look like at the time. And it's actually quite similar to the one that he uses. This is from the brand Besame Cosmetics. They have a bunch of vintage inspired makeup and stuff, but this is literally, it looks like the brush that he's using. And this is what a face powder brush used to look like back in the day, which is just so interesting. He's just going and wiping. How do you get all of it off though? That is what I'm confused about because this powder is like white, white. Oh, it took away a lot of the color of the eyeshadow. That's interesting. It actually looks a little bit more blended. Nose. In the nose. And over the eyes. And over the eyes. Down under the chin. Down under the chin. But with upward strokes. Oh, upward strokes. Never oh. brush the cheeks down. Always brush them up. Brush the cheeks up. You were just brushing them now down. Then. He's using a smaller brush for the eyebrows. I don't have a brush like that, so I'm just gonna go in with a, a little spoolie. The the There's so much still coming out. There's just straight up dust coming out of my eyebrows right now. And I'm still white. And here is the time to wash the surplus powder from around your eyes. Simply saturate a Q-tip with water. What? You'll find it lends freedom. That to is okay. Wait, I'm so confused. So he said we set the eyeshadow, and then we're also going in with a wet Q-tip. Why did we set the eyes then? <laughs> so I just dipped it in the water, <laughs> the glass of water that I have sitting on my desk. This is just so odd that you s he's having them set the eye and then go in with water. That actually made it a little bit darker. This is with the water and then without freedom to the expression of your eyes. Many women fail to remove the surplus powder from around their eyes, and that's a bad mistake. It should be remembered that the eyebrow is a very important feature of the face. It expresses every human emotion. Happiness, sadness, joy, whatever the case may be. My eyebrows are definitely not the same shape as hers. He says to give it a little bit of an arch, um, which I mean I can do, but her eyebrows are just very thin <laughs> and mine are a little bit thicker. Interesting because he says that your eyebrows should align with the inner corner of the eye, but I would have the biggest gap in between my eyebrows if I did that. Proceed with caution with that tip. Brush up to the arch, then brush down. Many letters were received about the use of mascara. In mascara, there are any number of tones of browns and blacks. Never use any artificial shade. This is what cake mascara looked like, and it came with a little brush, and it was basically like a little piece of soap that they would spit into and then rub to get their fuller lashes. I actually have the black cake mascara, so I'm gonna use this one. Again, just gonna dip into this cup. I was drinking out of this cup, but I guess not anymore. I wet the brush and we're just gonna start scrubbing. Then it should look something kind of like that. So then with this mascara, he went in and pulled up her eyelid and then started to apply while she was looking Never down. Use any artificial shades. I'll cover this subject more thoroughly as we go along. Then he goes in with the dry rouge. So he literally uses this big old face brush again. I'm gonna go in with the half magic blushes. Like that looks like he's applying the blush on a majority of the cheek because it's hard not to get a majority of your cheek when you are using a brush that's the size of your face. Always remember to powder after you've applied your dry rouge. Damn, and now we're going in with more, some more powder. Um, so I'm just gonna lightly go in with a more little bit more powder. Regarding okay, now we're getting on to the lips. I'm actually really excited about the lips. For this part of the video, he does use a lip brush, which I have. I'm gonna go into a red lipstick because, you know, it's the 50s and I can't tell what lipstick he's actually putting on her because it's a black and white video. He's just going in from the top and then following the corners down. So from the top, make a drop. Never match your lip rouge to your nails. But you may, if you choose, match your nails to your lips. See that your lips are perfectly free of other makeup. 
Remember that oil and water do not. Then he went in with the tissue and then blotted by literally just going like this. This will make like that. And then he folded it and blotted. And look more natural. Pretty. So that is the final look of the 1950s makeup tutorial. Obviously a very natural look even though we use a hell of a lot of powder. Overall, I might leave these tips in the 50s because I feel dry as hell right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!